Hey there, Kawa here. If you're a loyal viewer to this channel, you should know full well by now that I do not play conventional teams. Uh, so today's team is uh, relatively unconventional, and it is this. It's a Joni Minato team. Uh, but the caveat is I'm not using the uh, 5 Kage Summit Madara. Instead, I'm using the Chuni Shikamaru. Also, if you've been around for a while, you would notice that uh, since he got his skill breaks, uh, I've been playing him a lot because I've been progressively getting uh, more of his books. I just finished getting his uh, Paper Bomb Chase book, so he could do it twice now. Uh, I'm still missing three books. I need to finish the mystery, so it bumps the resistance percent to 30%, or 35%, I think it was. And uh, I need to get both books for his standard, so that it has like a high percent chance to trigger, and I think it does like 30% more damage. This will be like the books I go for last, because he's not here for damage. Uh, I'm probably going to go for this uh, Tactical Prowess book first. It's going to be another 100 frags, so it's going to be a good while before I get it. You know, buying them 5 a day. Uh, but yeah, uh, this team is uh, really high power for me because I have a 5-star Joni Minato and I have a 5-star Shikamaru here. Uh, it puts me really close to what my power is if I was using my Ninetales team. It's about a few hundred short, or maybe a thousand only. Uh, but it's also the Shikamaru here is not mooted, so that's probably what the difference is. But uh, this team here, it's... Uh, usable if you're Earth main also. I well, you actually can do it for all the mains, but uh, Earth would probably be the next best one. Uh, but uh, I mainly do it as water because I wanted the uh, chaos chase and the heals. These are not necessary. The heals are uh, it's replaceable with just uh, Earth mains a shield mystery and shield standard. It's more or less just as good, if uh, not better, because my uh, CC chase is not even necessary because Shikamaru would chase onto Minato's uh, chase and then he'll get the CC with the Shadow Possession Jutsu. I really just mainly doing the water main is because I want to get the Amaterasu as part of the chase. Uh, it's not really necessary because uh, if Minato starts to chase, you get a high combo chase anyways and you get the Gamariki no matter what. But like I said, I personally wanted to do it uh, with water mean because uh, I wanted the Amaterasu. Actually, this actually reminds me that I'm not supposed to be using Gamariki, it's supposed to be King of Hell, because Joni Minato does not do uh, ninjutsu damage. He is pure taijutsu. Well, I guess his chase is ninjutsu too, but um, I guess the person who matters, which is the uh, founder of Konoha Madara, uh, he's not going to chase him. So, uh, I have to definitely make sure I take uh, the Taijutsu. I mean, take the King of Hell to speed up the process of killing him. Because, or else I'll be sitting there for a good while trying to kill him. Uh, okay, so, there's an alternative to this team. Uh, I didn't test it yet, but I think it's going to be fun. I might try it out. Uh, it's where you replace, like, Shikamaru here with the Edo Nagato because the chase is more or less the same, but you do give up the CC from the Shadow Mimikri. You, you lose that from Nagato, but Nagato gives you the cleanse uh, for Itachi in case you get caught in a pinch. And you could... He gets a relatively decent damage mystery. It's not that great, but it can remove um, people's buffs. Uh, and if you know if you do an Earth Mate, you could just take that uh, Chakra Wall mystery and then uh, get the whole back row with it, so that you can get Itachi sleep, and then you could do the Shinra Tensei at the end of the round, and then you know you need to rotate onto Minato on round two. That could work too. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I might consider trying it. I'm not sure. Uh, does that team has no CCs? Outside of uh, Itachi's one sleep, and you can't get to uh, Itachi's Amaterasu. I, eh. I know I always tell people it doesn't really matter to chase all the time, but I do prefer to, you know, fit as many as I can in. Like, I won't bend over backwards to fit it in, but, you know, if I can fit it, then it would work out. And in this situation, I'm not really bending over backwards to make a. Uh, 
to chase work because if anything, uh, Minato on his standard attack will cause a knockdown, which will allow the Shadow Member Creed to come out and CC. Atachi's uh, standard will also cause a knockdown, also causing an uh, opening for the CC, and Shikamaru will also do the same thing. So there's three different ways I can put you to knock down without using the mystery. So even though I have three exact chases, well, not three, but actually five if we count Minato, but I'm not going to count Minato, I'm just going to count the uh, uh, two Shadow Memory Piece from Shikamaru and then the one Chaos Chase from the Water Bait. Uh, they all could be used in the same round if all three of them, you know, start a chase. Or, yeah, well, start a combo by causing a knockdown. So, I don't feel like it's bending over backwards to make it happen. Actually, it might be a benefit to be able to pull it off because it, as there are all three of them are in separate rows, I could potentially hit three people with these CCs. And then, you know, when you do a knockout, you don't really have that. But, um, maybe I'll test it out. Uh, I do have the Nagato. I think I, I even think he's mooted. I'm not sure. Let me take a look at him real quick. He's definitely fully awakened and everything. Uh, nope, he is not fully mooted. He's only at 25%. I haven't used him in ages. I think the last video I did with him was like last year, uh, maybe even longer. I think it's when I started the channel was the last time I used him. I think I used him in like just a team where he was the move one, and I just shouldn't run Tensei people to see uh, how much damage he did. Or actually, there might be a chance that I used him with Edo Daydara. Um, outside of that, I don't think I ever used him again. Uh, so yeah, he's probably in consideration for another uh, team for a video. All right, let's find someone to attack. Hero. Yeah, it's gonna be super unfair because my Minato is uh, as strong as this person. So, this fight is totally not in here. I should, I should, I should burn his uh, dodge and then let Minato hit him with the standard. Sometimes you do run into a situation where you have to do something like that, where you give up the mystery, you like really don't want to, to uh, further your chances of using Minato. Like in a high power fight, you know, there's a good chance that my CC is not even gonna like land, so I might as well just burn it to burn the dodge so I can make sure I can hit them with Minato. Like in this scenario. Might as well burn it. Wow, I did not come. You know, they have to be a lot weaker than me. Yeah. For my Itachi to go before the Shitsui even moved, he has 10k less than his Shitsui. So that means he has under. 8k because I have 18k initiative on my move one. Oh no, my move one. My, my second mistake. My move two. Uh, and usually people have that low at about 100k. It's usually because they're not stacking their um, position one and instead they're uh, spreading out the power. Like, there's no real issue with spreading it out, but you can't be so spread out to the point that, you know, you're ridiculously slow. Like, that's the one uh, thing that I try my best not to sp uh, split up. Split up too much. Like, I definitely do still keep a baseline on it, 
but uh, I don't over distribute the initiative, as that's one of the very important stats to win the fight. You know, you, you can't be so slow to the point where someone's position two can overtake your one, because then you're not even moving at that point. You might as well just be, you know, a fish in the water and you're about to die. So here's one of the issues with like um, the this type of chase because I'm using uh, the water main. I I can't move their uh, because uh, the water main gets the first chase. Uh, I should just stop that or whatever. So yeah, that's one of the downsides of the setup like this. But you know, at the same time, you would have did the full chase already before you pulled off the Shikamaru chase. So yeah, you don't really lose too much. And if you were trying to stop um, a mystery, it still works out just fine. Uh, okay, I don't know who I clicked on, but. Apparently, they are lagging very, very hard, and <laughs> they're not getting into the fight. It's either they're lagging, or they just, you know, AFK'd. Um, I do get a little annoyed when people do that. It's like, if you have no intentions to, you know, participate in the Sage in, um, World, like, why even join? Like, I understand you probably still get some type of reward for just being here, but, like, really? Why, why even waste the time? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why this Shisui is on position one, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Because you're clearly trying to do like a bruising team here, right? Like, it's really obvious he's aiming for bruising. And if you're aiming for bruising, don't put him in position two. Because, you know, you're obviously giving up your uh, gear that's usually on your position one to bruise. Uh, unless he's trying to outwit his opponent by. Placing uh, move two gear onto their move one, and then the move one being dodger, like it's kind of a, a legit strategy because I did uh, plan on doing something like that before in a very specific scenario, but yeah, um, not one of the greatest ideas because you only run a, uh, that type of idea in a very very specific specific scenario. And, and, and you definitely want to do it with the team. Like the scenario requires you to concede um, position one to them, going full well that you can't match them on position one speed. But um, in response you're going to overtake them on the position two speed. But then also, by doing that, you have to ensure that you can lock them down on, uh, on the round one before round two begins. You have to shut down their position one, which uh, gives you know you the opening to uh, get free roam of doing whatever you want with your, your super fast position two. Because at that point, your position one is CC'd, and that position two can't be faster than you. So, you can um, beat them that way, but it's a very, very specific scenario you have to run into. You have to be like prepared for it. Uh, okay. Okay. Not going for it. Okay. I'm gonna 
So we saw that it was a poison um, mystery already from the water means. I don't really care what she does. Chaoses. One got reflected, the one on Shikamaru got reflected, and uh, the one on Water Rain stopped. Okay. Back. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, in this scenario, we are going to sleep her. So sorry, gonna get back up. All right. Um, mainly because Shikamaru can't save himself, even with the shield, he's going to give his shield away to uh, Water. Man. Because, you know, if um, Madara swings, he's definitely going to kill Shikamaru. He got really close. Okay. See, now we went to that scenario with Madara, just like, ha, I'm immune to all pure uh, Taijutsu damage. And this is, you know, why we have Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Helps out a lot. This should get us out of range of Madara. One of those things, like when you're 150 k, I wouldn't press so, myself so hard to pick up your reason, especially when you're in um, a cluster like mine. Because at 150 k, you're below, uh, you know, you're below what I would consider strong enough to abuse it. So it's one of those I don't think you should use it. Type things. の
Commentary. This team is a very out game, in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't hold up well against uh, Hiruzens, and it also doesn't hold up well against Naruto's. Um, it's kind of outdated. Especially when you're set up like this, it's not good uh, against Hiruzen because you know Hiruzen swings down. And he has a 50-50 chance of, you know, just, like, killing a row of people. Uh, okay, I just got attacked. Uh, okay, I guess, um, it's not personal, it's, you're gonna be serious. Nope. I'm faster. Oh, I might as well kill his brain off. Yeah, this is um a very hard to win fight. Especially when he's stronger than me and he has the barrier language. So I guess he's not stronger than me, but that barrier makes all the difference in the world right now. Wait a second. Oh, wait, yeah. You get the you took Sage Mode, that's how you got out. Wait, that still doesn't make sense. Naruto costs 40. Sage Mode gives back. Th oh, it's 30. Uh, I might mistake. I forgot. His Anami is uh, 30 chakras of Sage Mode. Okay, yeah, that was correct. Uh, whatever. I'm, I'm not super serious right now, and he came with his super serious team, so whatever. I don't really care. It's like, if he's trying to prove a point, it's like, go ahead. <laughs> It's a sage world, you know, there's three a week, I really don't care. Uh, but, yeah, I I could definitely play a more serious team, but uh, it's really boring for me to do something like that. I try to avoid it, because it's not viewer-friendly watching me uh, <laughs> play those kind of teams. Especially when I'm the slower one, uh, I have to play super defensive, so... The fights are a lot more boring than you would think. Uh, this Tachi's good as dead, so I don't even need to mystery him. Well, at least that's hard to do. Oh, oh, I really can't wait till um, 
Shikamaru gets his um, experiments, or what they're called, breakthroughs, trials, yeah, trials. Um, where his um, three pulse knockdown chase, uh, it, it, he only does it once, but he adds one turn of cooldown onto your mystery. So potentially you can never use your mystery as long as he has um, someone triggering that uh, chase. And then, you know, obviously his mystery comes to uh, lower your cooldown by one and he gives you a shield. Also his uh, passive where he, you know, he buffs the secret juicy users, it becomes a presence buff over the, instead of a um, turn type buff. You know, because right now it only lasts two turns, uh, it becomes a presence buff, so you know, as long as he's around, that buff exists, and it, it's a lower percentage though. I think it's only like 35% compared to this 100 right now. What you but it's also um, better to have the presence buff because it's not removable. You can't just you know, oh, uh -huh, I'm gonna use target summon Madara. Oh, there goes your buff. It's very rare that I see myself not crit. It's awesome. Though. It's a really low percentage that I don't crit someone. That's 180k weaker than me. I think it's about a 10% chance that I don't crit this. I think there's a hard cap on your crit uh, percent rate. And I think it caps out at either like 80 or 90%. Especially when you never truly hit the 100% number. Or it's either that or the number becomes uh, a lot harder to achieve. Once you hit a certain threshold, it takes way more to get even like 1% up. That could be another way that they uh, do it. I'm not entirely sure, set though. I think I have more than enough time to pull this off. Ooh. That sucked. Uh, okay, I guess both of us will be asleep now. Though I have a minor advantage in the sense that I can generate chakra. And I can free myself. You're not gonna cast? If you're not gonna cast, then I'm gonna cast. I really have no use for this chakra, but uh, his overall kit outside of that chakra thing is very good. Oh wow! Someone else invested in the frog? Uh, I thought I was the only one in the cluster who actually had it. Uh, because it's not cheap. That investment is actually uh, a hefty coupon investment, and I don't suggest anyone ever go for it unless they're too often in the going to play this team and Chaos Water team. Because if you're not, you know, there's no other team that uses the frog. And it's a very hefty investment. And I think that should be it. We have 24 seconds. Uh, just hang out over here. No, I don't want to hang out with them. I'll just stand over here. Uh, 
second place, as usual. Not nothing special. Alright guys, um, that's the video. Uh, I might try to uh, add on Knockout Tilting that I mentioned. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for it.